As a major city in the USA, Philadelphia is a historic, fascinating place to visit, but it can be expensive. This is Katie from Creative Travel Guide, and today we are looking at how to visit Philadelphia on a budget. Looking for more travel tips? Make sure to hit subscribe and ring that notification bell. So firstly, let's look at getting to Philadelphia. Philadelphia's 30th Street Station is the main train station in the city, perfect for those heading in on the Amtrak. This can work out much cheaper than domestic flights, especially for those visiting from another East Coast destination. Save money on your train trip by booking tickets 14 days in advance to get up to 50% off. Philadelphia's International Airport is around 7 miles from the city centre. You can get affordable, non-stop domestic flights using Southwest Airlines from cities like Denver, Orlando, Chicago and Las Vegas. International flyers can fly direct using American Airlines from destinations including Rome, London, Toronto, Budapest and Paris. Remember to book in advance and fly on weekdays to save money on those international flights. Philadelphia is also just under two hours away from New York City, meaning international visitors can fly to NYC and pair up Philadelphia with their trip. Flying from Europe, you can often find cheaper flights into New York or New Jersey airports in comparison to the Philadelphia airport. You may be looking at driving along the East Coast with Philadelphia being a stop en route. Make sure to shop around for the best car rentals for you. So now let's look at when to visit Philadelphia. So because of its location in the US, winter is the best time to visit if you are traveling on a budget. Temperatures sit in the mid 20s, so make sure to wrap up warm and enjoy the off season hotel rates. However, the problem with visiting in the winter is that there are a lot less things to do. Some attractions and outdoor markets limit their opening times when it gets too cold. So if you're wanting to save some money, aim to visit in November or February. So now let's look at getting around Philadelphia on a budget. So firstly, get the TransPass. Of course, public transport is always going to be cheaper than using taxis or renting a car. Buy a weekly pass to enjoy unlimited rides on the public transport around Philadelphia. If you are staying in the city for a week and look to travel a lot, then make sure to pick up the pass to save money on buses, trolleys and subways. Philadelphia is a popular place to drive, but if you plan on staying in the city centre in Philadelphia, then check for parking in advance. Parkopedia is a great website that shows you the best value parking spots near your hotel or attraction. Also, you may consider a hop on hop off bus. If you are visiting Philadelphia for just one or two days and you want to see as many sites as possible, we recommend getting the city sightseeing buses instead of getting taxis to the different attractions. This way you can see the famous landmarks and choose when to hop on and hop off as you travel. Combo tickets are also available if you want to include multiple days or tours and attraction tickets. So now let's look at cheap accommodation in Philadelphia. So the city is actually home to some of the most affordable hostels in the USA, making this a good option for those who don't mind sharing a dorm. These beds can cost around $30 a night and are perfect for solo travelers. If you plan on spending any longer than three or four days in the city, we recommend you rent a place. Use Airbnb or Booking.com, book an apartment to save money on accommodation, but also save money on eating out. Instead, get some groceries from the supermarket and use the kitchen or kitchenette to cook your own meals. Which leads us on to how to save money on food in Philadelphia. 
So apart from being delicious, pizza and cheesesteak is actually some of the cheapest eats to enjoy in the city. So when you're eating out, definitely eat these tasty food treats. But also avoid drinking alcohol. The unique drinking laws in Pennsylvania make drinking in bars and restaurants an expensive experience. There are some restaurants and bars that let you bring your own drinks in, so check first or opt for soft drinks when eating out. Alternatively, visit bars between 4 and 6 p.m. You will find a handful of bars and restaurants offering special prices on both food and drink during these times. Also make sure to eat at Reading Terminal Market. This popular food market is the perfect place for those looking to eat on a budget. Also head to Yards Brewing Company for a free 40 minute tour of the brewery and a free beer sample. And now let's talk on ways to save money on attractions. So getting a Go City Philadelphia pass is going to save you some money if you want to see plenty of sites. These passes can be bought to cover between one to five days and include entrance to many of the sites in the city, such as the Eastern State Penitentiary, the Academy of Natural Science and the Adventure Aquarium. But also make sure to take advantage of the free attractions. There are plenty of free things to do in Philadelphia. We recommend that you head to Independence Hall to see the Liberty Bell before seeing the Rocky Statue and running up the iconic steps. Carpenters Hall and the President's House are also free popular sites in Philadelphia. You can also head to Race Street Pier, located along the river near Race Street and Columbus Boulevard. The pier is open all year round and is a popular spot for social gatherings. You can enjoy the multi-purpose lawn and seating across two levels. Plus, you can also enjoy free yoga classes on the pier, including special twilight sessions during full moon evenings. And don't forget to Museum Hop. There are plenty of museums in Philadelphia and luckily for budget travellers, there are plenty of free entry dates throughout each month. Check out the museum websites to find specific dates during your visit, but museums that offer free days include the Museum of Art and the Franklin Institute. Also, Walnut Street Theatre is a historic theatre in the city. It shows hit theatrical pieces during their USA tours and you can save money by buying tickets on the day of the show, with these often being half price. Watch this video for more Philadelphia travel tips, have an amazing time in the city and stay creative.